hello guys welcome to this channel and in this video you're going to learn how to create a wordpress website for yourself for absolutely free you are not going to pay any penny for the website that you create let's get started step one go to your internet browser and type in wordpress.com when the page loads click on start websites below and then input your email address username and your password you then click on your create your account your next step is to type in your domain name. Your domain name is the link that people will use to visit your site. So here I am typing in Mena AC and that is the domain name that I want people to use to visit my site. After typing in your domain name, scroll down to choose the link with the name you have chosen. Please note, because we are using the free option, you are to choose the one that has free. That is the .wordpress.com. Don't go and choose the one that has money. If you do that, you are going to pay for it. Now that you are done with your domain name, click on the start with the free site link above and then wait for your site to build. On the next page, you are going to give your site a name, update your homepage, customize your site's menu, confirm your email address, get the WordPress app, and then you launch your site to the world. First, we are going to give the site a name. Tap on the give your site a name and then click on the name your site. Another page will load up and then you input the information that you want to put over there. Here, I'm going to input in my site title, that is the name for my site, and then when I'm done, I'll move on to the site tagline. The tagline is like the nickname for the site or what you want the site to be known for. So I'm just going to type in Ghanaian YouTuber and I'll find a better tagline for it later. Then when you are done, you click on the site icon. That is when your page loads up, the small picture that will appear on the page okay so there is a picture here that i am going to use when i am done i'll click on done and then it will load now since there wouldn't be much changes to be done here i'll just go back and click on save settings to save my settings after saving your settings scroll back down and then click on launch site on the next page scroll downwards and then click on skip purchase remember we are not spending any penny here so do not choose anything that has money there just click on skip purchase and then let's move on here click on start with the free site again and then your site will be live but then that wouldn't be all because we are left with customizing our page and editing our home page to make our site habitable for our blog yay our site is now ready and now it's time for us to set up our site okay so you click on show site setup so that we can do the setup easily so our next step is to update our home page the home page is the first impression that people are going to see when they visit your site so we have to make it classy okay so you tap on it and then you click on edit home page this is actually where all the fun and the frustration is at but don't worry it's going to pay off really so this is our home page and as you can see it's really jiggy boring over here so we are going to um, update it and make it our own so the first thing we are going to do is change the welcome message over here. I'm going to change it to welcome to Mena AC's blog. So next I'm going to clean every information over here and make it my own and then I'll link my channel as well. So if you want to link any text, you just write the text like what I'm doing here and then highlight it and then click the two brackets with the dash inside and then input the link in the box here and click on the arrow and you are good to go. The learn more box below is also a link so i'm just going to tap on it and then input my link and click on the arrow again and i'm good to go so the next thing i'm going to do is change the picture over here so i'm going to click on it and then click on the open media and then click on the plus sign at the top here and choose another picture for my home page I finally found a picture that I could use so it's loading over here and it's going to replace itself over here so there it is so when you visit my page this is the picture you're going to see next I'm going to scroll downwards and then change the writing here the letters from the blog to whatever that I want so I'm going to impute in my YouTube channel videos 
and then when i'm done i'm going to click on the plus sign over here and then search for youtube and then embed some of my video links over there so here i am looking for some of my video links to embed on my site as you can see i've already added some of them and i'll be back soon so i've added some of my youtube video links over at the home page and i can also decide to add some text here or not when i'm done i will click on the plus sign again and add some features again here i'm going to click on the patterns i'm looking for patterns to add to the bottom of my page i don't want to work too much on the bottom part of my page i'm going to look for an easy made for you pattern and then add it here so let's see which one fits so i finally decided to go with this bottom pattern because i just want something simple for the size nothing so extravagant you know so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to edit the pictures out of this and then some of the text there and then add my own So here I'm going to edit the text over here. I'm going to change the Jasmine Baker to my name and then hello I'm a photographer blah 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 thing to to whatever that I prefer to add here. Maybe mom and dad were right when they told me this wouldn't be nothing. Maybe I should take their advice, go get a life or maybe get a so the pattern I chose came with some social media icons which I can embed my links in so that anytime somebody taps on it, they go straight to it. So here I'm linking my Instagram account and then when I'm done, I'm going to delete the TikTok and Twitter um, icons because I'm not active. So the first one I'm going to delete is TikTok. I'm going to click on the three dots up there and then click on remove block and then it will go. We'll do the same for Twitter and then impute my link, my YouTube link in this icon as well and then click on the arrow and then I am good to go. So now I'm partially done with building the home page. So let's take a look at what we have here. So I have here the pictures, my videos, um, my welcome message and my um, social media icons and whatever. And then my Instagram link over here. Okay, so I have it all figured out and it's quite looking good now. So you scroll back upwards and then click on the W here and wait for the page to load and then you click on the w again it will take you to another menu where you will choose this one you scroll down and then you select appearance and then you select customize Price. Oh, is it covered is all right folks so here we have site identity you can change your site identity that is the title or anything then the colors and backgrounds menus content options widgets, home page settings, fonts, additional CSS, and a whole lot. You can do everything here. So we are first going to customize the menu. And as you can see here, we have primary, home, blog, and whatever. So if you want to add another menu to the menus that are already there, you click on add items. The primary means that the main menu that can be seen on the home page, okay? So here I'm going to add my, my YouTube page over here. So I've clicked on the ad and I am typing in YouTube videos. That means when you go to my homepage, I have a particular page for YouTube videos. So the menu location simply means where I want the menu to show. So I basically want this menu to be my primary menu. That is the main menu. Yeah, I'm adding another page to my primary menu because when people visit your page definitely they want to know who you are so i'm adding an about me page and then i'll add a contact page and a privacy policy page as well so you are actually seeing the menu below here because i decided to select the footer menu as part of the primary menu but i think i'm going to change it because i don't like it over here who knows now that we are done with customizing the menu, we are going to click on content options and then check the box here. We want our featured images to show. That is images that we add to our posts. Next, we move on to widgets. Widgets are apps that you can use to customize your website. There are a whole lot of options that you can add here. You can add um, archives, audio, authors, blog, anything that you want over here. 
Remember, the widgets will be seen on the home page as well. So here I'm looking for a follow blog widget so that anytime you visit my page and you want to follow me over there, you follow me. What this does is that anytime I upload a post, you get a notification. So I'm going to add my social icon widget so that you can get in touch with me anytime you visit my page using these links over there. Okay, so now let's take a look at what I have added so far with the widgets. So I added the follow button and then the subscribe to my channel widget. So you can see here following Mena Isi and then my subscribe to my channel with the YouTube icon below. So when you click on it, it works like magic. So the next thing we are going to work on is the home page settings. Yeah, you can see that I've selected a static page. A static page means that I have customized the page that you see. So here I'm going to choose the home. That is the home page settings that I have made so far. Okay. I can decide to choose the YouTube page or whatever, but I want the home page to show. That is what I want. So you can decide to choose any page that you want to show as your home page all right so we are going to see what is at the additional css now you as you can see we have to upgrade to premium before we can see what is there okay the css is like coding you don't want to mess with that so let's take a look at the home page and the menu that i added at first and then you can see home blog youtube videos about me contact privacy policy these are my primary pages okay so i can click on any of them and it will take me over there for instance um let's take a look at me clicking on the blog and as you can see um i don't have anything there and I would have to add something when i click on the about me too i do not have anything there when i click on youtube videos i do not have anything there the contact page i don't have anything there so when you click on the edit you can add whatever thing that you want to add to the pages over there all right yo so i'm going to click on launch site again i don't know why it keeps on taking us back here it used not to be like that but i've clicked on it and then i'm going to go down again and click on skip purchase remember we are not buying anything and then i'm going to click on start with a free site again and then when that is done i am going to be uh seeing a new page that is the site that i have created Now we are going to click on the W here and it's going to take us to this page. Now, as you can see here, we have my home statistics, upgrades, post media, pages, comments, feedback, jetpack, appearance, and then we have plugins. Now, plugins are like apps that you can use to customize your page. Now, because this site that we are using now is the free version, you wouldn't be able to access it. But if you decide to pay for it, you'll be able to access everything that is here. But my advice to you is that you don't have to spend money over here because it is really expensive. Don't beat yourself about getting a subscription for WordPress, okay? Now, the next item you're going to look at is Jetpack. Jetpack is the statistics app that comes with WordPress, okay? So if you want to know the number of people who have visited your page, um, the number of people who have read your Post, and now the the pages that people are reading from all these can be found in the jetpack app okay so if you want to have enough statistics about your blog jetpack is where you have to look at oh. so now we are going to look at appearance you can see themes customize widgets menu and then amp now we are going to click on themes the theme is how you want your site to look like okay so they have pre-made things for you you can choose any theme that you see here and then you customize it to what you want your site to look like okay so there are a whole lot of options here that you can choose from they are all made for you and then you don't have to start anything from scratch as a matter of fact we are using a theme from here uh, as the site okay so don't stress yourself creating anything from scratch they have it done for you so in the search bar you can type in maybe a theme that you have heard of and then see if it's available or you then you can even type in a keyword like food play or anything and then themes like that will come up and then you choose from it whether you have a preference over there 
now here you can also follow other sites when you click Music. on this followed sites a new page will open up and it'll show you the sites that you also follow but since we are new here when we click on follow sites we will see that we don't follow anybody so we are going to click on the find post and then we are going to search for other bloggers that we can resonate with for me because i'm mostly concentrated on ghanaian stuff and african stuff in general i'm going to search for african posts and then when i find some or sites that i want to follow i will just click on the plus button on your right side and then i follow them so anytime they post a blog post i'll get a notification about it in my email now if you want to add a new post to your blog you just click on the plus button over there you wait for the page load when the page loads you see add title and a blog here you can add the title of your post over here the font that we use to write in our title is known as the heading okay this one that we are writing is the paragraph okay so we have titles and paragraphs in the blog website okay so anytime you want to create another heading under a title you have to click on the plus button and then select heading okay so right now i'm using the paragraph to write something over here clicking on the plus button will take you to this page this is where you can add whatever you want to your blog post now i'm going to click on the settings button at your right hand side and then you see they have post and block over here block means the current block that i am editing okay that is the paragraph block so i can edit it over here i can change the color the text settings font size anything that i want i can do to the blog post now if i click on the post i have stick to the top of the blog that is the first thing that you see when it comes to my blog and then pending view maybe you are using it with another person you want them to check it out and then they have enable amp amp is the smaller version of your website which loads faster for you again we have permalink over here permalink definitely means um how you want your blog post link to be okay so you can edit your blog post link over here and then we have categories you can create categories for your blog post okay so for instance if i want my blog post to be featured in the category video i'll have it over here and then we have tags tag is like hashtag but it's not like hashtag you just write in the tag that you want your post to be known for and then you click on enter and it will be highlighted for you now we move on to featured image featured image is the image that your post will be known for okay so that anytime somebody sees your link it wouldn't be just a blank list but it will show an image of um, what your post is about so if you want to save your post you just click on the cloud link on your upper left hand side and then you use it to save and then if you want to see how your post looks like on your page you can just click on the preview you can also publish your post right away if you want to link out to something you just highlight the text and you click on the two brackets with a dash inside and then impute the link next if you want to set up your profile just click on the human icon on your upper right hand side and then look at the settings over there and work out anything that you would want to change over there or you can just leave it like that the bell icon is also where you will see all your notifications that is comments on your page and what the what's nots that are over there so finally this is how the page looks like this is the home page it's okay now and then i'm going to uh, click on the blog page and you are going to love it because i love it something simple it's just some uh, blog posts about me and some of the videos that i've made and then you are also going to see my about me page i have written something little about me i mean if you want to read that you can just visit the site the site will be linked in the description below so that you can visit there easily okay for contact and privacy policy i don't have anything there yet and i'll pretty much soon get it done to see how it goes